I mean, we're here. We made it. Thank you for coming back to gndtravel.com. This time we're here in lovely Jamaica at the Royal De Cameron Cornwall Beach. It's 140 plus units here. We're out the front where the street is, but all of the units face out over the ocean. It's absolutely wonderful. We've had two rooms. We were in 1505, which was lovely, but then we got 1301 on the end unit. It's a superior oceanfront room. And well, I'll tell you, when you see the footage of our deck, it's uh, big enough you could have a soccer game out there. Let's go on in and check it out. Thanks again for coming to gndtravel.com. Remember, share, subscribe, and like. Let's go on in. We're here in the lobby of the Royal Cameron Cornwall Beach. These lovely folks have been wonderful. As I mentioned in the opening, we got the superior oceanfront room. You just need to ask and see when people are checking out, and it really is worth it. They have been kind, they've been courteous, and the staff here have been wonderful. So check it out, remember when you're here to ask for that. Up on the second floor, you're gonna find the coffee shop that uh, overlooks the lobby area. Um, the lady is very talented. She can certainly make a whole bunch of different uh, cafe espressos, mocha lattes. And of course, outside they have their own little patio, so you can go outside and enjoy your coffee and view. Behind me here is the buffet restaurant. We've eaten here several times. We have lunch here, breakfast here, and a couple of dinners. There are the a la carte restaurants, the Souk and the Olivia. We've tried them both. It's worthwhile to move around and check them out. The food has been great. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing an interview with Chef from the Olivia restaurant a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. This is inside the main restaurant during breakfast. As you can see, there's a couple of omelets there for my wife and I. Uh, the attendants were very good. They uh, do a very good job cooking it. There were other egg products, scrambled eggs, poached eggs as well, with lots of toppings, as you can see. Good selection um, on the other side as well. They had some uh, sausage and that sort of thing, so a wide selection of sweet bread. So you can see the beans, the omelets, a lot of fresh fruit was there. Here is the uh, buffet area, where you can see it is a server from the resort who takes your order and collects it all to you and hands you a plate. And of course, nothing would be Jamaica-like without the morning mimosas. All the cutlery comes pre-packaged in a nice plastic case. The was also very good. Uh, we're going to move on to where the Olivia restaurant is. This is the chef uh, lighting up a big fire, certainly making the great food. Here's the, the Mediterranean menu that we have and a couple of samples of some of the food. We had the soup, we had the, the meat... We had some salmon, we had some shrimp and linguine. Um, it was all very good. The chef is quite accomplished. Um, and following this right now, we're going to have an interview with chef. At the Royal de Cameron Cornwall Beach, you have to come to the a la carte. Now, what's it called? Olivia? Yes, or Olivia. Olivia. Now, chef here. Chef Foster? Yeah, Chef Foster. He is the best. He has made one of our experiences in Jamaica one of the best. He, we've had the uh, beef tenderloin, I think. We've had the linguine. Chef, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what you like and what you do here. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm the chief a la carte chef here at the Olivia. Right, so this is where we, it's like a fine, it's a fine dining experience. Right, so this is, so this is where <laughs> this is where, no, no, keep going, mm -hmm. this is, you're doing good. Uh, so this is where you, you can come to get the best experience here at the Royal de Camera, apart from the buffet, right? So over here we have a wide variety of Mediterranean food, such, such as crusted salmon, right? We have crusted salmon, and we have beef tenderloin, we have a seafood casserole, right? And we have shrimp and scallop linguine and vegetable lasagna, and a whole lot more, right? But you'd have to request it. And all of it's very good. I had the uh, linguine the other night. My wife had the crusted salmon. Both, both of us thought it was wonderful. Chef, you were saying that you work somewhere down the road along the strip, and yeah, uh, that's so, how you got here. Right. So I used to work at the pork pit down there. Oh my God! I should go and try the pork. Their pork um, is really good. Really good. Okay. Right. So it's the so working there is my 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 first major job as a chef where, you know, I would perform everyone there. I was mm -hmm. one of the best, right? So that's why I, wa I wanted more for myself. So that's how I got here at the Royal De Cameron. So I I'm keep on um, upgrading and leveling up. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to be the best. 
You know, Chef also told us that his mom, his various people in his family had taught him how to cook. He's had a very good start. And Chef, thank you very much for helping make our Definitely stay here well. nice. Definitely. But I know, why don't you take your mask off as I walk away so we can all get a good look at you. And wave to the folks and the people who thank follow you. our gndtravel.com. Like time fine dining restaurant during the day serves as this snack bar close to the beach. Get your jerk chicken, hot dogs, burgers, french fries, coleslaw, and a range of other things. Just ask the waiter what you're after. One of the important things to do when you come to the Royal De Cameron is to check out the entertainment board. By WOW Entertainment, we'll give them a bit of a plug. So tonight it's the cultural show. Twice we've seen some steel drum bands. Um, last night it was jazz and blues. And the other nights it's been reggae. The music has been great. The entertainment actually happens right out here over on the pool where we're going to be going in a moment. And every room, as I mentioned in the opening piece, has a view over the ocean and the pool. So you can sit on your balcony if you want and watch the entertainment. It's been fabulous. Entertainment can also be found in the main lobby bar. This is a very important component of every holiday. Um, had the violin, we had some, uh, had the reggae band playing all the time. And of course, if you talk real nice to them and give them a small donation, they'll let you come up and play in the band. That's me on the uh, big drum there. We had a great time. We're at the fabulous pool here at the Cornwall Beach World of Cameron. As you can see, it's quite large. Over to the right-hand side, well, on your right, my left, there's the kids' pool. There is lifeguards on duty quite often. We see them here um, underneath their sun umbrellas. The pool bar, Irie, is just over here, so it's very convenient. And the beach is steps away to walk in the ocean and uh, have lots of fun. We're going to be visiting the water sports area as well. So stick with us. We're going to be down there shortly. I think it's important to take the point that the whole resort is accessible. As you can see, ramps leading to and from things. It makes it very convenient for those who have trouble walking or perhaps in wheelchairs. They have looked at these particular aspects of the resort. I believe that we were told it was designed in 2016 and built roughly around that same time. So for those who need accessibility and it's an issue for you, well, the ramps are here and you can get anywhere on the resort you need You're to go. We're here at the Irie Bar, the poolside bar. It's an absolutely wonderful. I'm here with the bartender, Kem. So, Kem, what's the special of today? There's specials every day. Today is Mexican day because it's Monday. It consists of tequila, pineapple juice, and lime juice. Very refreshing and tasty. I'd like to take note that we are here in the time of COVID. The resort staff and everyone here has wear, worn masks. In order to get a drink, you need to wear the mask. And the staff has always been very good about sanitizing hands, making sure the masks are on, and taking all the proper protocols in order to make sure the safety of the guests is top. I'm here with Shaquille, who is part of the security service here on the resort. Red shirts, you can see them everywhere. They look after their guests. What are some of the duties you would do during the day? Like for instance, here on the job? Yeah, here on the job. Okay, first of all, social distance, make sure you guys are wearing a mask. Make sure you guys are okay at all times. But I, I love to see you guys when you're happy. Okay. Behind. And it's a lovely beach. You guys always can go. There's a water sports there. It's a nice bar here with some nice stuff as well. So you hear Shaquille is telling us that he always makes sure that everyone is using the COVID protocols. Yeah making sure the safety of the guests is a very top priority and well he certainly told us about this wonderful beach let's go visit it another next. one of the great features here at the royal de cameron cordwall beach is the water sports that we have kayaks we did the kayaks yesterday for the first time a lot of fun the paddle boards which are a lot of fun um, they have the small catamaran as well they have glass bottom tours at an additional cost that come in so there's lots of ability for you to have the water sports. Us personally, we like to go snorkeling and we like to wear a life jacket when we go. So they let us use the life jacket. You sign it out, but you sign it back in. And again, 
the sterilization measures are here for even those. You take it out, but then when you come back, you put it in a bucket full of sterilizing solution before it is used by the next person. So it's really fun. Um, they have void off areas where it's safe. One of the things that we were told and we have watched for is that there are sea urchins in and around the rocky areas. If you look for them, you can see them quite clearly, so you just don't want to step on one. And I see we're being visited by our little friend, the little kitty. As promised, <laughs> we're here at the beach. Beautiful sand. It's going to feel good on your toes when you're here. And one thing we've also noticed is they put out a lot of chairs. So you never have to go and fight for one. I know in some other reports I've said I go out in the morning, I put my towel on the chair to reserve it for my wife and I. But here, we haven't had to do that. Anytime we've gone to the beach, even right down on the shore, we've been able to get a chair, put our towel down, and just enjoy the sun, go in the water. It's beautiful. I highly recommend it. Another important feature of the resort, of course, and for all of us, is you have a towel exchange. You just uh, come get your towel, give your room number, and of course you give them back and they record it. That way you're not charged extra for it. So you'll see the towel hut, the nice young ladies inside there, and it's open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I think, is it twice a day you can get new towels? I'm sorry? Yeah, right. So there you go. The towels are uh, big, they're fluffy, they're quite absorbent, so they haven't cheaped out there. Again, this world of Cameron, it's doing great things. We're very happy with it. This is the street facing side of the Royal de Cameron. Um, as we're on the fifth floor here, you can see the hip strip out there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the stairs and through some of the floors as we make our way to the lobby. And as you can see, it's a very good view of the parking lot, but there's lots of stairs and it's very accessible. So as we come down the stairs, we're gonna see our way into the lobby. Next, we're going to move into the uh, resort that's next door, the Montego Beach, Royal de Cameron Montego Beach. Here, you'll see a whole series of piers that go out that we, we enjoyed going out to feed the fish. Lots of these glass bottom boats going by. Um, here's another one of the piers. Quite often, we would see pelicans sitting on the end of them, of course, staring down at the fish, looking, well, looking for their breakfast or their dinner. Often, there are lifeguards at the end of these chairs. Um, this particular morning, we didn't see any people doing their morning uh, sp water sports, but quite often there is. And of course, here we're going to have a bit of a panning shot looking at the resort that's right next to the Royal de Cameron Cornwall Beach. This is the Montego Beach Royal de Cameron. And as we walk further down to the end to where the fence is, you can see the fence on the left. That's the public beach on the other side. And this area here is where we were told a lot of the staff stay. The wedding pier here, well, what we call the wedding pier because it's a large area, you can hold a wedding there, is a great vantage point right at the end of the uh, water at the beginning of the runway for the airport to watch planes come in. We've really enjoyed it. As you can see, there's uh, lots of water sports happening, local fella doing the kayaking as well. Thank you for watching, and thank you for coming to gndtravel.com. May all your travels be safe and fun. Have a great day.